Arja Huntress. Now this Outlander. I'll keep some extra on hand. From one hunter to another. So, Ray. Another outlander strutting around. What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with a new Taru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. To meet Varl and Zoe in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. some news for you. Better gear up if you're going into Utaru territory, Red. The Tanakh have been raiding villages all over the plains, riding machines no less. Though I hear the village of Riverhim up north's been putting up a fight. Thanks for the advice.
made it. If I can reach its core, I should get enough data to override some new machines. I'll need a cauldron to learn how to override machines. Likewise. Come over here. Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma. The savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. 
It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, me lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out of the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But- You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. I was wondering when you'd be back. Should we move on? Like I was saying. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. Between you and- He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but... In a this is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. The mm, pouch is full, but my pack has room. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? Hmm. Light Prince. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. 
tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. An Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's Our ask Anders. him. Let me get. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here. Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Here I come! A shell snapper. That hasn't seen us yet. Who can use that? Hawk and Thrush. Just like old times.
gotta say, feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave-in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? This door needs some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Bunch of Osram supplies. A dead end. Lana, I think I found something. In the rubble. What is it? An Osram. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly, when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. Hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tawana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but... I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. Tell your friends where you bought it. I'll tell you, I'm not getting paid enough for this. First bristlebacks, now Tanakh's attacking Baron Light. 
should have never messed with the Tanakh in the first place. Best get all the supplies you need, my friend. These parts just got a whole lot more dangerous. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Shake off this wet. Dead machines. A trap. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. But a diary would be interested in this. Them shadow cards are taking a beating. Those people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things. Change straight. the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. Nice. 
Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is.
Let the Nora pass. Full, but my stash has room. Uh, looks like I should head up. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. Must have broken off after Savahar passed through. Himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left a trail. I can follow with my focus. There's the stormbird. Getting closer. for my stash later. Machines. Sabahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. Get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find them.
That's all of them. Gather these while I can. Savoir. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks. Angry Osram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. Fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide, <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. Even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. It's you, son of me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? The 
This pigment will work well on armor. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savahar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. generous gent so I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out we won't let you pass Asaram if you choose bloodshed that's on your conscience ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be okay boys you heard her get your consciences ready hold on now Tolland you again Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which in this case is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, boss. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these... people... need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to Chain Scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge Woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird Heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
from my stash when I need it. Okay, I think I have enough bitter leaf. Dead bristle duck for the falls. Now check it out. It's strange. Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. I have charged off the cliff above. I should keep going up the trail. trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Okay, let's see where this leads. tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. <laughs> There's smoke from deeper in the mine. Where's the Bex? So they did come through here. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Uh, no room on me. I can send a 
Thanks to my stash. a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. There's a blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. This note's addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oland must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. So Olven was secretly blasting in the mine. To squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Charger heard Lauren's contract mentioned should be close by. I want to look through the contract one more time and make sure I didn't miss anything. Here are the chargers. If I can take a few of them down, it should lure in the scrappers I'm looking for. Cauldrons might teach me how to override these things. Ha! 
circuits a bit. That's one. Do it. Time to take these parts back to Larand. Oh, perfect timing, Huntress. I got you the scrapper jaws you needed. Ah, some fine components. Here, your payment. I hope you'll consider taking the other contract. It'll be worth it. I'm positive. Good call. Hey, Lloyd, I've got some prime salvage for you right here. Green. I feel the pressure building to it. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. The embassy, Bergala's rebels were riding bristlebacks. And if they attack from the north, they might have a camp up that way. Shut that machine down quick with shock ammo. It's not an outpost. Away from the main camp. And that be where Regala's keeping her machines. Fight avoided.
All right. Now to see what the rebels were up to here. Better check in their cave. I can grab this from my stash later. Drawbridge. Maybe my way across. Well, that's one half of the bridge. I had to drop the other side. There. Bridge is down. fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Blocked. Yep, not going that way. Returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. <laughs> Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? 
Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvunt. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom, Ulvunt. All for a few extra shards. Greedy as ever. Not to mention, you sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate refugees over some salvage. Should have been mine. Ugh, oh, that steel is already struck. Get over it. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... that's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Down with all <laughs> 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 Get off me! Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. About time he went crawling back to whatever. here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. More of the Utaru's land gods. So in the fields with blight. It's like they're still following their programming. Even though it's killing everything. <coughs> Better get down. This isn't a place for a machine. Stay strong. Who 
are you? There's Varl and Zo. I'm here, as promised. That singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. And the subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, f the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach. Even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart, like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered.
join in well. singing? The only singing I do is... So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regal as champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. I prefer the sound of machines to singing. As soon as I get my supplies, I'm heading back to the hunting grounds. That means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so will and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a family. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle 
of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy! Fighting in the fields ahead. Plasma's not gonna hurt that thing much. <laughs> I've seen these machines before. What do I do? They must have come from the corner. The others will defend things. We have to move. More machines. Fire on metal. Now's my chance. Can you use a shock attack? These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing land god in that cave. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead.
This is a find. One. Now on to the corner. Oh, Let's go. Right behind you. Saving us for a dire. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? You better be ready for anything. Keep going. Into the cave. This will be my stash when I need it. I shouldn't linger here. Aloy, we should head into the cave. May the land gods forgive her. What is that? A kind of wall made of light. We'll have to find a way around. Follow your lead, Aloy. Up here! I'll pick these up. That ahead, like a cauldron door.
understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. We have to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit is in here. Minerva? Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Three. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is wrong to the birds. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Huh. Standing on this floor panel. Activated something. Looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. That worked! How are you doing, Joe? This place was meant for the land. There! I'm really tired. Do you have a climb all the way up now? 
But I had to, right? To help you and Aloy. To find Fa. You did the right thing, so. What's that thing beyond the wall? It's more pillars. Might be a way across, if I can get them into the right position. Another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down? Can't hook onto that. This crate should be heavy enough. I think I can get the crate through that shield. But I'll have to go around. on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. Should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Stuff for the stash. Drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Get up to the node. All this metal. Cold winter in here. Far Over you two. Transfer. Now I'm Armament Channel Unit G 
Mark One. Who is that? Hephaestus. It's taken over this whole place. Careful, Matrix. Fine. Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go do your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? Okay, there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I glide. It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. It used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. More of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Be ready. You've got your back. see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Laurel, are you ready? of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down.
weapons on its back. If I can detach them, I can use them against it. machine that nearly killed us it's still her god i do not grieve for a god or a machine but because i no longer know what to believe look so if you want you can go back home do i still have one and if so for how long can you really heal our lands save my people we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. 